Good morning. Welcome to the biggest kayak tournament I've ever been a part of, Bassmaster uh, Kayak Classic. 132 anglers all competing for $20,000 of grand prize. First place is $20,000. I didn't even know that until like a few days ago. I knew it was going to be a lot, but I didn't know it was going to be that much. Of course, first day of the tournament is pouring down rain and it's going to rain all day. It's like 43 degrees and rain's probably going to get to like 50. Tomorrow's supposed to be a lot nicer. I did some pre-fishing. I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to a place that I caught fish at, although the weather's totally different. So I got to put another one more layer on. I got a rain suit on, stuff like that. Try to stay some. Try to stay dry and comfortable. Got some snacks and drinks. Got eight hours of fishing, which starts in ten minutes. Lines in in ten minutes. So my kayak's already at the water. I'm gonna walk down, get in it, get a couple things tied up, and it'll be time to start fishing. No matter what, I just gotta get five keepers to give myself a chance for tomorrow. Um, Am I expecting to get top place? No. Top 10 would be awesome because you get to watch, walk across the, the Bassmaster stage. I don't expect to get that either, but I do want to do well and give myself a chance for that top 10 spot. First catch, not the right species, but it's a giant. Little white bass, or white um, crappie. Well, I got my fish number one is a 12 incher, just big enough to keep. First keeper though, it's nine o'clock. I've been out an hour, caught that crappie, and I caught that bass right there. I need at least four more of those. Oh, that's a fish, that's a fish. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. I need this one. I need every one of these guys. He barely grab the end of it. Ooh. What a rainy, wet, cold day. Well, there's a second one on a red Fritz side crankbait. Well, that's keeper number two, another little guy. It's all about getting that limit though. Not mainly, I mean, but it's most important. If you're doing a two day tournament and you don't get a limit on the first day, you're basically done. It's 9.30, that was only 20 minutes after that last one. And it was also when I got in the shallower water. So I'm gonna kinda, I wasn't playing on fishing back here. I was playing on fishing way out there. I fished it, didn't get a bite. There was two or three other kayakers going other ways where I wanted to go. So I came back in the shallow water, which I didn't get anything the other day, but I've gotten two in here. We'll fish it a little bit more. I still, I'm probably gonna move unless I just get on some fish. This number three is gonna be way too small. About 10 and a half inches.
Well, I'm working my way back to the ramp. Just caught a little one a second ago, that one I just showed you. And then I just caught another one that's just a little bit bigger. Another keeper though. Just gotta get it on the board. This will be our third keeper. So, it's starting to make me, I was thinking I was gonna move. My back camera died, I didn't wanna change it. And let's see what time it is. It's 10, 19, so. Man, I don't know if I want to move or not now. I've kind of gotten to a little groove getting some bass. Nothing big, but we got another keeper. Maybe the biggest one yet, but. Well, like I said, not another big one, but another keeper. That's three keepers already. I'm going to go ahead and upload these. Can I go back in there? I think he's 14 and a half. It depends on what the picture looks at. Another one on the crankbait. That's four keepers in here, so I just need one more. Nice. Hey brother. Hey, are you going down this way? Okay, I'm going by you. There's number five. It feels so good to get that fish. Let's make sure we get it on the board and get a picture of it. Yeah. That's a good one. Oh. That's the kind of fish we've been looking for. That's a 15 and a halfer. It's still not a giant, but the best one today. And now we have five. Let me make sure everything uploads. Okay, here we go. So we got a five fish in. It's 12 o'clock. We got three and a half hours. I came out to the main part of the lake and I was like, I'm gonna work that crankbait the same way. Got my biggest one. That gives me a good sign because there's a lot of stuff to fish here. I'm gonna fish the same way, keep working that crankbait. And um, if we could replace the 12, our smallest is a 12 and we got two that are 13 and a half inches. If we get a couple more of those 15 and a half, 16s, we may be doing something. We got 69.25 inches. Not a awesome limit. I'd love to get it up about 75 and then do the same thing tomorrow. So right now it says we're in 21, 21st place. So let's see if we can, uh, it, you know, who knows? If we catch one good 20, 21 incher, that'll really bump us up. Got that five though, man. I'm glad I stayed. It was the right decision and it's paying off. So let's keep fishing. No way. Every time I switch it back to this lure, I get a fish. Oh, it's not a big one. Maybe over 12 inches though. It's a spot. Well, it may be an upgrade, I don't know. It's starting to get a little rough right here. He's 13 inches though, so that'd be a one inch upgrade. So we'll save him and I'll upload it later. Try to get a bigger one than that. It's 1230. Still got three hours to fish. So I'm gonna keep working down this way. Water's getting a little choppier. 
the wind is like blowing the rain in my face. But we're catching some fish. So that's six fish today. Well, seven counting the crappie. That's, um, you know, that's, that's all right. It's better than the last tournament I was at. I was just wanting to try a different color. I think it's more of the way the way it bites. That's a fat little guy, not real long. Another one on the crankbait. And that's the third 13 and a halfer. So my smallest fish right now is 13 and a half. So I got three of them that size. Good one. It's a good fish. I don't know if he's hooked good or not. Oh, he's barely hooked. I think. Yeah. And I may have learned something. That's the second one that I caught. I, I think it was the lure was paused. I like brought it to the boat and paused it and getting a little bit bigger one. That's the biggest one today. Still no giants. I don't know what other guys are catching. I'm sure somebody's catching some giants, but I'm happy consistently catching fish and then still upgrading. But he is 15 and a half, almost 15 and three quarters. That's a good upgrade, 15 and three quarters. If I get one more like that, I could position myself to be doing solid because we got it's two days of fishing, and I may I may be back here doing this exact same thing tomorrow because I'm consistently catching fish. They're spread out, but as I'm moving, I'm consistently catching them. And so we're we're learn, we're trying to learn and just trying to keep on catching fish. We got two, still over. We got another hour and a half to go. Well, we got less than an hour to go. I am tired. My arm is hurting. My hands are so soggy uh, from being wet all day. I can't wait to get inside somewhere and dry out. I've stayed dry, like in my uh, my um, under my rain clothes, but whew. I'm gonna make some more casts. Work our way kind of back towards the ramp. About if I get to the ramp early, I'm probably about done. I haven't figured out anything else. I've tried several other lures. The only thing I could get those fish on was the crankbait. I'm throwing the chatterbait right now, but I think I'm gonna put it away and uh, just fish that crankbait and on the way back in. Fish. There's a fish. Is he a big? He's a pretty good size. I think he may be an upgrade. He hit it. I'm almost to the ramp and time's almost up. Oh, it's not a bad one. It's a good one. That's gonna be an upgrade. That's a good fish. 
It's 319. Got 11 minutes. The time's out. Gotta cut this fish. Oh, yeah. Dude, 16 and a half. A good one 16 and a half biggest one right here I got 10 minutes left I'll make a few more casts right here oh wow it's another good one that might be bigger that one hammered it. I'm trying to upload this fish. And then I just got hammered. That's a good one. I can't believe this is good. We got like five minutes to go. Come here. Oh, that's a nice one. He's fatter. I don't know if he's gonna be longer. He's definitely gonna upgrade. Those other ones. Holy cow. What a change of end of a day. Man, that guy is fat. He absolutely stopped that lure. That one just crushed it. 17 inches, biggest one of the day. Nice fish. Dude, I got a 16 and a half and a 17 within the last 10 minutes. These were both in the same area. I just kept casting over and over. And that one was fat. That one just crushed it. This is bigger than any tournament I've been to and the best fisherman I've ever fished against. So I am ex I'm happy with where I'm at. I don't know where, what place, but I mean, I'm just happy I've caught these fish um, to kind of be least respectable. I don't think I'm anywhere clear near the top. Dang. My buddy Luke that I'm staying with, he got some good ones. He's in second place. He did really good. But I'm in 22nd place out of 132. And nothing to be upset about. I'm, uh, I'm happy where I'm at. 79 and a half inches in 22nd. 79 and a half inches is a solid limit. All right, let's get to the truck. Get out of these wet clothes give a little recap maybe a little bit later on about tomorrow i'm finally dried out feel a lot more comfortable this guy over here though he's the second place so um i was looking at the standings we've been talking about it he's fished a spot that he's comfortable with it's and he won before so if he gets back on those fish tomorrow he's got a chance at twenty thousand dollars and he's not excited about it no he is but i am happy with where i'm at i'm at 23rd and those two fish at the end, which was, was, was awesome. It was, it was crazy to get those two at the end. I think I have a chance to get the top 10. Like I said, if you get the top 10, you get to walk across the stage at the Bassmaster Classic. If you get in the top 13, you get paid. The, the lowest place is $1,000. That'd be really cool just to get that. So I am 10 places away from getting paid. And I got a whole day of fishing tomorrow. Um, hopefully some of the guys ahead of me don't do good. And hopefully I do better than I did today. And then it'd be easy to be there. So I think I'm going to go back to the same spot I was at to today. If the audio and stuff was terrible, it rained all day. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little better. But, uh, man, I'm going to get up in the morning. We're going to go right back to the same spot. I'm going to start throwing a crankbait on those same ledges that I caught those fish on. And uh, we'll see what happens. So see you in the morning.